Here's your division leaders. Yankees, Twins, Astros, Braves, Cubs, Dodgers. Cubs are also tied with the Cardinals. So let's take those seven teams out of it because they are division leaders. So we'll give them right now, if the season ended today, postseason spots. Well, that means there's three other playoff spots up for grabs right now. One in the National League and two in the American League as wild cards. Here are the teams within five games of a wild card. The A's, the Indians, the Rays, the Red Sox. The Angels are five and a half back. In the National League, the Nats, the Phillies, the Brewers, the Giants, the Diamondbacks. And the Mets are six back, and the Mets apparently consider themselves buyers. That means that three quarters of the league have ideas, visions of the playoffs, or don't want to tell their fans, yes, yeah, stop coming to the ballpark for the next two months. Those are all the teams within five games of the wild card with 50 to play. 50 games are left. What does that tell you? There's not enough sellers. Thus, there's not enough content. There's not enough players or assets to have sold. Okay, think about it like this. This is like you live in a town where there's one grocery store and there's either a blizzard coming or tornado coming or some other cataclysmic event and everybody rushes to the grocery store to buy out all of the canned foods, the bread, and the milk and the water. There's not enough. There's one grocery store and there's everybody else and there's the storm coming. There's not enough sellers because baseball's created the double wild card system. So more teams than ever feel like they're in it and now you've moved up the trade deadline. The math doesn't work. If there's more teams in it than ever, you have to push back the trade deadline. Or you've got to push it later in the regular season. It would make more sense if you're adding teams to be competitive. I just finished Bud Selig's book. Bud joined us a couple of weeks ago. Interesting read. I didn't agree with all of it. I thought that a lot of it had to do with him kind of taking bows for where baseball is right now. But one of the things he hammers home is originally when he was an owner of the Milwaukee Brewers and growing up as a fan of baseball in the 50s in Milwaukee, it felt like it was only the Yankees and that there was not enough competitive balance, the same teams every year because there was only two divisions in each league, and that was only starting in 1969. Before that, it was one team in each league meets in the World Series. So that meant that three-quarters of Major League Baseball was out of it by Memorial Day. He wanted more competitive balance. He wanted to add a wild card. He wanted to add postseason races. He wanted to add late-season drama, and then got two wild cards. So now there are five teams in each league making the playoffs where once upon a time there's only two total and then four up until 1994. Now we got 10. Used to be four 25 years ago. Now there's 10. Well, if there's more teams looking to be competitive and that are in the race, you can't move the deadline up and say no more moving after this. Not enough players to move. The difference is in basketball, yeah, it's still around this time. About 60 to 70% of the season is done right around the All-Star break, right after the All-Star break. That's when the NBA trade deadline is. But in the NBA, if you're not one of the top two or three seeds, you pretty much know you're toast. Certainly, if you are a team that's going to miss the playoffs or a 7-8 and eight seed, you're not keeping the band together unless you're trying to build something for the future. You know you are not competing for an NBA championship. If you make, just make the wild card, you can win the World Series. This has happened multiple times. Just make the wild card, even the one-game wild card now. 
you could win the World Series. Baseball ate its own. It butchered its own trade deadline. So nothing's going to happen.